Welcome, my name is Colleen Tauke and I'm the Sewing Specialist here at Funds and Porter. In this Quilting Quickly tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make the blocks for the quilt called Plus A Bit. If you'd like to purchase this pattern, please visit our website. We are going to be using two and a half inch pre-cut strips of a lot of really bright fabrics and a background fabric and finish it off with a green border. In order to make these um, pieces, or the, cut the pieces for this block, we're going to take each of the strips and from each of the strips we're going to be cutting six two and a half inch squares and three two and a half by six and a half inch rectangles. That way we'll use up all of the strip pretty much and have all the pieces that we need. So down through your pre-cuts it'll tell you how many of those you'll need and set those aside so you can create your blocks. Then from the background fabric you're going to be cutting two and a half inch squares and one and a half inch squares. Let's get started with our construction. We're going to be using simply the one of the square or rectangles and two of the squares. Right away you can see it makes a plus sign. But we need to make those tips um, off of the plus symbol look like points. So this is how we're going to go about doing that. I'm going to lay these out just so that they'll be in place for our next step because that will actually finish up the entire block. We're going to be using those little one and a half inch squares and on the two and a half inch um, prints we are going to be adding or doing a diagonal seam method. It doesn't have to be laying on top of there I guess when we're marking it. We're just going to be marking these corner to corner like this. We'll mark a couple of them. And we're going to be using that as our stitching line as we join those onto our square. So this will be one side, and then we'll, once we've got that one opened up, we'll join the second side. Let's take it to the sewing machine here. And these are small enough that if you feel confident making a straight line across without um, marking them, feel free to do that. Uh, I seem to always make kind of a sag line in the middle of my blocks if I tried to stitch without marking them. So it doesn't take very long to mark them each right down through the middle. Okay, we'll take that out. I'm going to just press that open with my finger first. Kind of score along that, make it nice and flat. You'll want to take this to the iron when we're finished, but at this point I'm just going to come in and take away that underneath triangle and then add the second piece in the same manner. You don't want to go to the opposite corner but to an adjacent side of the block so that it makes a point on one side of kind of like shape kind of like a house or home plate. Okay, get across that side. Cut. And I'm going to open that again all the way up into the stitching line and trim away the underneath portion. And our tails clean it up a little bit. Now we can take that over to the iron and you'll want to um, make sure that you make sure your pieces are nice and flat, crisp, ready to go. So now we've got this portion. We repeat that process on the, the other two and a half inch square and then on the center I'll just replace these out with the ones I've done. Now the center here, we're going to have to do all four corners with the same method, that diagonal seam, to create this. Now you're going to want to join these into a row and these into a row and then join your rows to create your block. Like that. Kind of a fancy cross kind of symbol. And then this quilt is constructed in vertical rows and what you're going to be doing is joining those blocks because they float with a rectangle bar like this. And you'll notice that the um, blocks within it aren't square, they're offset. So we're going to be then cutting rectangles like this, then joining a block here. Then your second row also has those spacers between. So then you've got row one, row two. Now you know how to make plus of it. If you'd like to see more of our Quilting Quickly tutorials, please visit our website. Thanks for joining me today.